station. Time is now 7.56 when we come back. A check on the day's top stories. A pirate with scads of panache wants the key to the trunk with the cash. Now here's some advice. Also swashbuckling silliness in the Tony-nominated new play, Peter and the Starcatcher. A chat with the nominees coming up later this morning. This is CBS2 News, Sunday morning. Wait. <laughs> All right, well, the Tony Awards honoring Broadway's best are one week from tonight. The new play, Peter and the Star Catcher, is up for nine Tonys. CBS 2's Dana Tyler talked to the nominees who are thrilled to be sharing this clever twist on the boy who wanted to fly. When I was a boy, I wished I could fly. Me too. So did I. Out the window and over the trees. Hide it's the, the Neverland You Never air. Knew in the new Broadway play, Peter and the Star Catcher. Up for nine Tony Awards, it's a fast-paced comedy with music. Featured actor nominee Christian Borel is having a blast in this retelling of how an unhappy orphan finds an identity. Borel plays a swashbuckler sailing between silly and seething. A pirate with scads of panache wants the key to the trunk with the cash. Now here's some advice. Though I seem to be nice, I'll cut you. He has strength and he's, you know, he obviously has some power. But at the heart, he's lonely and lost and desperately searching for an identity. And within all that, there's this leeway to just be completely insane. And to be menacing and bumbling. It's a great joy. I love this play so much. Based on a 2004 book by Dave Barry and Ridley Pearson in a reverent prequel about the boy who won't grow up. This play is written by Rick Ellis, who's also nominated for writing the lyrics. He says he connected the mythology of the beloved Peter Pan with the recent novel's clever anachronisms. Ellis has written 100 characters for the 12 multitasking actors. They play doorways, they play hallways, they play animals, they play humans, they play ideas even. And um, and there, it's such a it's such a great uh, showcase for them and for that energy, and uh, and I really think that that is what is electrifying in the um, in the theater. Borrell says Ellis's diligent playwriting is a gift for an actor. He just kept working on it and fine tuning it, and the lines that he comes up with. One of the great joys of an actor is when you don't have to do anything with a line. So there's countless moments on stage where I know all I have to do is stand there and just say the words. Help me, the linguists among you. What's the turn of phrase? Empty, Captain. The trunk is empty. So it is. Clean as the sheets in a convent. <laughs> From page to the stage, it's been a five and a half year project. Oh, the you. place Tony nominated directors say they use old theater tricks to convey the innovative storytelling. Mostly it's done with sticks and rope and things like that. All the stuff that people used in, in, in theater ever since there was theater, really. And I think people love being, the audience love it because they're flattered to, into using their imagination, which is what we're happy to discover. You know, it's a great, it's a great thing to be doing. And yeah. it's extraordinary to be working on a play that doesn't take place in a kitchen, a kitchen or a bedroom or something, you know, where, where the audience, yeah, has to meet you halfway. Not more code, Norse code from Norway, the ancient Viking signaling system. That's ridiculous. <laughs> What's he saying? Unless I miss my guess, he's saying Marla Bella Furnace Nine Furna. Featured actress nominee Celia Keenan Bulger says the audience feedback is magical. I think when we first did it, there were less references to how Peter Pan became Peter Pan. And as we started to add them, you hear the audience audibly gasp, you know, when you find Tinkerbell or when you hear Lost Boys or Smee. Like it really it's so exciting. Follow that trunk, Smee! Get me to that island! Get to the island, Peter! Don't let that trunk out of your sight! Swim on against the current! Swim the new play on with the most Tony nominations, Peter and the Starcatcher, is at the Brooks Atkinson Theater. Dana Tyler, CBS 2 News, Sunday morning. And you can see the Tony Awards broadcast live from the Beacon Theater next Sunday night at 8, right here on CBS 2. Neil Patrick Harris is the host once again this year and doesn't get any better than that. I know. He is so talented. So I love funny. him. All right. I love these.